Hi, I'm Sarah Wilson from I Quit Sugar and today I'm going to talk to you about how to maintain eye health by just eating good food. Now I've worn glasses since the age of four and I've had two eye diseases in my time as well. And when I was about 21, I developed an autoimmune disease in my eye. I was due to have a pretty serious eye operation and I was pretty keen to avoid that. So I decided to see if I could heal my eye disease through food. I did it for three months. I went on a fairly strict diet, really a diet of eating really good food. And you know what? I managed to heal it. The doctors were blown away at the time. But fortunately today, most eye doctors are really on board with this idea that food can fix your eyes. Now the kind of food I ate back then is pretty much what I eat today. So no sugar, um, plenty of good fats and proteins, and plenty of vegetables and fruit, but in particular, leafy greens. Now to talk us through how these leafy greens work to fix and heal eye health, I'm gonna introduce you to Juliana from OPSM, an optometrist and resident foodie. Thank you very much for joining us. That's all right. Hi, Sarah. So we're talking leafy greens here. What is it about leafy greens that helped my eyes and help a lot of people with their eye health? So the leafy greens that we have out here contain a lot of lutein and zeaxanthin. They're really rich in these antioxidants, which all throughout the body, but especially the eye, help fight free radicals. So I know that you've got a particular passion in the area of eye health. What is it? It's fantastic being able to prescribe something like this for patients. I mean, it's, it's a joy to be able to tell people to go out there and eat well. And also there's lots of emerging evidence and great research into the preventative health benefits of these fruits and vegetables. And macular degeneration, I know that it's something that these leafy greens really have a big impact on. And as you say, it's not just this idea that it's um, you know, something that you can do that may or may not help. The science is actually showing this is one of the biggest contributors to, to healing eye health. But I'm wondering, I mean, Macular degeneration, I think that's an old person's disease. Is this something I should be worried about? <laughs> Absolutely, we should all be concerned and aware of macular degeneration and other diseases like cataracts, where lutein and zeaxanthin have been shown to have some preventative health benefits. And you know, we can always start from any age and getting into a good, healthy, nutritious diet from an early age is only gonna benefit us in the long term. I try to get as many leafy greens into my diet, around about five serves, around about seven serves of fresh fruit and vegetables a day is my aim. Mm. What other foods do you like? Well, I also try and aim for, you know, two and five as well, and I think a lot of people are familiar with um, looking out for omega-3s and fish like salmon, which is fantastic, but often really interesting vegetables like this capsicum um, are often neglected. When you see things with, that have this lovely yellowish colour to them, that's often a great source of lutein as well. Well, I can certainly attest to all of this and the healing nature of food. Back when I was 21, it fixed my eyes, and today it maintains my health in general, but also my eye health. And you'll be interested to know, the other day I went to OPSM to get my eyes tested, as I do every two years, and the optometrist said to me, wow, you must eat really well. And I loved the fact that she could actually tell that from you know, the reading of my eyes. Really good news. It is, it's great news. I think people are just starting to realise that optometrists can offer advice and tips on nutrition as well and how it can optimise your visual health. And that's also why OPSM has developed our health and wellbeing hub, I Am Healthy, which is going to be a place where we can share recipes and tips and health and lifestyle ideas to help you live and see better. On that note, I'm gonna make for you the I Am Healthy Green Protein Whip. It's one of four recipes I've developed with the I Quit Sugar team for OPSM. So, this is a really simple way of getting a whole heap of greens into your breakfast. So this is like a breakfast whip. I eat yeah. it in the warmer months. It's a fantastic way to get sort of one to three serves of vegetables in your one meal. So we're talking about a handful or two of spinach leaves. You can use kale, you can use silver beet, any kind of greenery that you like. Mm -hmm. I like to put in a little bit of sweetener, some natural sweetener coming from fruit. So we're talking around about half an apple, okay. um, give or take. I like to put in some avocado. Mm. Smoothies should always contain some source of fat. And the reason for that is that a lot of the nutrients in the leafy greens and the fruit are fat absorbable only. And so you're not getting the nutrients unless you've got some fat or protein in there. Right. Um, we've got some coconut water, chia seeds, and there's a, a powder too. Yeah, and we've got this powder, a protein powder. So if you're a bit short on protein in your diet, it's a really great way to get it in there. You okay. might want to put some nut meal in there, that's another way of getting some protein, some good omega-3 fats in there. So we stick it all in there, we blend it on high for a minute or two, 
there you have mm. our I Am Healthy Green Protein Whip. May I? Go for All it. Right. That's fantastic. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries at all. Thanks.